here. Today we are making New York a New York license plate for the people that don't have okay but this time we are actually gonna be doing the version where um I don't use my mouse. So So it's let's just get into this. Alright, so the, as you see, there's already a New York plate on this. So he's like, how am I supposed to craft a New York plate without that? Alright, well, the simple thing is, grab a new heart, grab a new, well, a new setup. Like just, just, you know, I'm not really grabbing a new one, I'm just gonna use the old one. See, so like, like this, but go to this. And, so let's go ahead and start by covering up this car. Now we have this side. But if you look right there, it does not cover that area right there. We're just getting the first step. We're starting getting the license plate holder covered. All the surrounded, not covered. Okay. There you go. See, now it's just one area that you really could get any mess on. Oop, I forgot a little bit. Like a little smidge right there. So you also have to choose whatever color you want. I'm gonna go simple. I'm gonna actually just go ahead and do the matte black. But with the New York license plates, you got two two different types of colors. You got the black and yellow, and then you got the blue and yellow, and then you got the custom vanity plates, which no one else, <laughs> no one's gonna be able to do those without the mouse, because they are hard. They are tricky as fuck. Because there's like a mountain, the city, and everything else designed in the picture. No way, no way, I'm not gonna do that without the mouse. Right, so this um, who this is this is different, definitely difficult. I'm like, eh, how do I do this? Um, let's just um, let's start off by putting this car into a different color. There you go, cars are different colors, so that when we do the plate, it really won't be as noticeable. Um, whoops, I didn't mean that should touch the color. Okay, go all the way back down to the bottom layer. And you're going to grab this layer. Then you're going to take that down, just one more. And when you go to do, like, the edging, so you want that nice curved edge. So you just take this. Boom. And since you probably want the curve edge on the bottom as well, go ahead and just do this one. And then we take that one down here. And then we go to the top one and we move it around just so we can see. But you can also do this and then turn it to red. If you can't see it, it's probably not going to be a big issue. So, so we're going to change that to gray. Copy it over. Just not lightly bring that in. Gray. And duplicate it over there. Gray. And take it onto the side. And another gray. And take it to the other side. There you go. There's the edging. The edgings on the sides are all completed. 
And when you do that, you just go down here. And you try not to grab. And then you go up here to this one. Bloop. Okay, there you go. You got it. You got your starter. Start up an actual list right here. This is this is pretty. Let's see, look now you actually have a curved edge for the license plate. See how the all the outsides have cur just a slight curve. It's not like a like a, a humongous urge. But there's, it doesn't look like a straight up rectangle. It has cuts off the edges. All right, so we're gonna take that down the helm, and we are gonna turn it to a a faded off yellow. So we with that. I want to use my mouse so bad, <laughs> but I said I'm not going to, because not everyone had the mouse, has a mouse. Okay, so now you take this, you just gotta make sure it's nice and centered. If you want, just check that. I, I only started that yellow up just, just as a test, right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this into that blue that we need. So we're going to hit this blue right here, but we're going to bring it down to here. And bring it, make it a little darker. Turn this to that yellow. Turn this to that blue. And pull this down. There you go, and now you got that little, that, that vanity little stripe that they had underneath those plates, on the plates, so uh, now you just go all the way back to the top, and the white reason I designed it like that, is so that way when I do it, look, it only goes right there, but there's no, it doesn't go underneath this line, okay. Now the New York part, <laughs> it's just gonna, it's gonna suck, but hell, I don't think we actually have, yeah, I'm gonna go check something, I'm gonna go over to the, to see if we can find anything. I think this is the one I want, if I can find something with N, E, W, that would be fucking hilarious. It saves you time when you actually can find stuff that already has the N design in it. If you can find the stuff that starts with E, like I could probably get this to work. For the, the E. Then the W, I could just flip. You could flip it over, but it, that won't look that good. Or this could work too. It's a VV, but it, it's so shrunk you'd never even know it. Then this could be, a, you could have this start up as a Y. Uh, find something like an O. You might have to craft the O from scratch. R. Sometimes it starts with R. That you can delete the background off. You might have to actually design the R. The K. Because uh, you could be. You could probably use that V. And just turn it. 
That way you can actually use less layers. I'm just trying to fucking help you guys out so you don't have to use so many layers to actually do designs on your car. So, let me uh, go ahead and get. Let's just go ahead and uh, get this started. So. Um. I forgot what I was going to use in the beginning. But I could use this, because you can flip the end. So, so we'll do this first, and then you just go take that black off completely. That still works. Okay, so. Now you don't need that line right there yet. Yet. So. So, see, now you just do that. Then you uh, take like a blue square right over the rest of the thing. Um. Let's go ahead and, uh. Yeah, we're doing it from the controller's perspective, so if you don't... That's what my plan is. See, look, I can actually even use that stick. To grab the E. But we need to do something around these edges. There you go. I don't remember how I did it on the, on the video, so I'm just doing it from scratch. The updated version. Okay, we need it. we need to get a lot smaller than that, so. Let's go ahead and replace that with this. Just get a little space between that and that. And then. I know it's not much of a curb on that uh, bar, but I'm like, I can't really zoom in to get that curb like I want. Okay. But, but I have to do it the way the other people would be able to do it. Cause not everyone has a mouse. So, the New York seems like the easiest. Can't use that one because it's too too small. Too uh kind of uh, boldness into it. See it's that you see now that these are all getting too bold. I wanted to test the theory out. And the theory has been proven wrong. Now you all I'll have to start doing some. Yeah, I think we'll have to design the W from scratch. Okay, so delete that.
I didn't know I was that big. Nice. I don't think that will find a why. Okay, the O is gonna be easy. You might be able to actually get that O to work on this one. It might be a little wonky because due to the fact I can't really do a zoom in. And this it's just oh yeah. We need to bring that out like K in. So it means we have to redo the W Y. So they bring these greens in just a little There you go, now. I have to remember to put the, the blue line over the, the edge of this K. Don't worry about down here at the bottom, because I'm going to take, take something over those. And it's very weird to be doing the New York plate again with the, without the mouse. But I'm doing, I have the mouse. I'm just doing it for the people that don't have the mouse. Because New York, it was the most sim it's the most simple plate out there. So that's why I'm recreating it. Okay. The red has to be white and the yellow has to be gone. You see, I stayed. I kept everything in the middle of the plate. All right. 
So now that you got that all done, it doesn't really look like I need to do the blue, but I'm going to do the blue edges. Cause that K was right on the edge. There you go. The way the impact, uh, the other plate looks. There you go. That's that New York plate right there for y'all. But let's just say this. Let's finish it up with the way I finished my plates up. Don't worry. I have to go up to that. New York up there. Actually, that's a good idea right now to get done. Hey, I'm gonna get this yellow, and I still have to touch up the edges. I forgot about that. There we go. I touched them up. Cause I was like realizing, like, what did I forget there? Oh yeah, I forgot to make the letters all yellow. You could leave them white. I think they look better white than they do yellow. But that's not the way the plate looks. There you go. Nice and yellow. Yellow. Didn't want to talk about me. Yellow. And the numbers are all blue. Which don't make sense. They match the fucking same color. All right, there you go, the MRB. Now we have to take a layer over all of it and black that out a little bit. A little bit like how this turns out. This is the way I do them. You don't really have to do it. And now you need the, the four dots.
Anyway, it looks like you one point in time did have it bolted down. You just don't have it bolted down anymore. There you go. License plate done. And that's only 53 layers. Well, that's actually minus... Actually, that's not even 53 layers. That's, for, that's 42 layers for the New York license plate. That's without the sticker or anything like that. So, not very hard to make these plates. I made it with hitties. And I don't even think I've been alive that long. 26 minutes. I, I did it in 20, uh, 26 minutes. It doesn't take that long to break these plates either. But there you guys go. Live. But now that I got the plate done. I guess I'm going to end the stream and then I'll start another one up. So you guys have yourself a wonderful night. Peace out.